So, you think you are the only one having vaginal inching? No, now. Even research has shown that most women have vaginal inchy yearly. But before I go into the DSF, good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Mary, popularly known as the North with the Difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my students. Today, we're going to be discussing the various causes of vaginal inching so that you will know and avoid them. So it's not everything that is caused by bacteria is not everything that is caused by bacteria it's not everything that you go to the chemist and buy antibiotics so there are lots of things that cause um vaginal inching that you can easily prevent but before we go into the taste into this class if you are new on our youtube channel please click on the subscribe button i'm waiting click on the subscribe button turn on the notification button so you don't miss out for all my returning subscribers, I am saying thank you. Let's keep it going. Welcome back. Like Elia said, today I'm going to be sharing with you the various causes of vaginal in, um, inching. Various causes of vaginal inching. But before I go into the days into this class, if you are having vaginal inching, what do you do? Answer me. Okay, do you normally scratch? Like you just dip your hand and scratch? Or you just pretend as if it's not happening? Or you cross your two legs together and be doing, you understand? Which one do you normally do? Yeah. Think within yourself which one do you normally do a lot of female they are actually very shy to share their experience they're actually shy to talk to them to people about it to talk to their friends about the fact that they are having vaginal inching but the fact is most people most ladies go down with vaginal inching as a result of one or two causes which i'm going to be sharing with us today so the first course i'm going to be sharing with us today is the irritant or contact dermatitis irritant or contact dermatitis this is one of the cause of inching in females yes it is one of the cause of inching in females the vaginal inching in females i'm going to explain this in details you see most of us what we do is that when we are beating we use soap to wash the area so that we used to beat we used to wash that area we take sponge some even take sponge towel to clean that area nobody sent you that seriously it's not really nice the vagina is self cleansing it cleans itself by itself so nobody's telling you to spray the vagina some people go to the extent of spraying the vagina waxing the vagina doing a lot of things to the vagina come on leave that place alone god has created it it's self cleansing it is on its own so no need for all those unnecessary chemicals that you are placing there those things they alter the ph of the vulva they alter the ph of the vagina which makes it inchy so it's not all inching of the vagina that is caused by what that is caused by bacteria because messages i get on my dm is not messing me i'm having vaginal inching which drug should i take no i can't just go ahead and prescribe drugs like that you get so sometimes it is the irritant these chemicals that will put in the vagina that makes it inching the best thing for you to do is to wash that place just rinse it wash it with water and it's okay so for those that are using soap or those chemicals on that particular area try as much as possible to stop then observe you will see the inching is going to reduce drastically so chemicals go a long way to irritate that area so no doctor a doctor might not tell you that a nurse might not tell you but i'm telling you that those irritants tend to what alter the ph of the vagina so that's why you have to stop it because the vagina is what self cleansing then another cause of vaginal inching is skin conditions some skin conditions can actually cause um vaginal inching for example psoriasis which is chronic um, inflammatory condition can cause inching of the skin ingrown hair ingrown hair you know how it looks like for those that have, have ingrown hair when you're having ingrown hair around that area can actually cause inching of the skin when you see conditions like that and you are confused you don't know what to do the best thing to do is to visit your gp or visit your doctor don't just self-prescribe and start taking antibiotics because most ladies feel that any inching is caused by bacteria so they rush to the nearest pharmacy to get the antibiotics and start taking which is not right and which is not ideal. 
Then the third cause of um, vaginal itching is hormonal imbalance. What do I mean by that? Um, you see this female vagina now. It is estrogen dependent. Estrogen is only is found is found in female majorly. Estrogen is a very very good hormone that's found in female. It has a lot of function. So when a woman is pregnant, when a woman is breastfeeding, when a woman is lactating, this alters the hormonal balance of the woman. It can lead to what vaginal inching. So before taking any medication, it is advisable you speak to your midwife. It is advisable you speak to your GP. Don't just go ahead like I always say to prescribe medications for yourself. It might not work. Then the other cause of um, vaginal inching is stress. This is not really a major cause. But stress can aggravate inching that is already there. Yes, stress can work. Stress can aggravate the inching that is already around that vaginal area. Try as much as possible to reduce sweat because sweat will tend to cause heat around that area. And, uh, stress will make you, you know what a stressful condition can do to you. So that can actually trigger that inching cycle. There's what we call itchy cycle, scratchy cycle. I'm going to show you. So that can actually trigger the scratching cycle, the inching cycle, and makes everything worse. Then another cause, yes, another cause of, um, what they call it now, of vaginal inching, it's the one you have been expecting that is making you to run to the pharmacy. Sexually transmitted infection, yes. Sexually transmitted infection, it's a cause of vaginal inching. Yeah. Um, for example, your genital herpes and also your trichomoniasis. Yes, these are um, sexually transmitted infection that can make your vagina inching. It can come with a lot of uh, uh, signs and symptoms like body sensation. It can come with some discharges. So when you're having things like that, it is better for you to see a doctor carry out his test. So it's been confirmed that it is caused by bacteria and they know the antibiotics to give to you. Then after the STIs, we have non-STIs causing vaginal inching. That's non-sexually transmitted infection causing vaginal inching. For example, scabies, for example, tread worms, tread worms, um, the, what they call it now, um, candidiasis, and also yeast. Yeast infection, these can cause what vaginal inching. So this yeast infection, yeast is normal in the vaginal, but there's a certain stage it gets, there's an imbalance and um, the pH of the of the vaginal, it will make you to start having vaginal inching. So most times you have to see the doctor, they confirm, oh, it's a yeast infection, they give you some clotrimazole, they give you some uh, tablets to take, so they give you some um, tablets to insert around that vaginal area. So these are the various causes of vaginal inching. What I really want us to take note, the major reason why I did this particular video is because of the messages I've been getting. Like most messy, maybe I'm having inching. What drug should I take? Sometimes it's our habits, our personal habit that is leading us to have this um, vaginal inching, not sexually transmitted disease or infections. And for young ladies out there that are scared of meeting a doctor to tell them about the fact that they are having inching because they feel i think i was having that growing up i felt that oh my daughter is going to think that i think i was young then when i first had this vaginal inching i was scared that oh my daughter is going to think i'm promiscuous my daughter is going to think that i'm sleeping with men my daughter is going to think i don't have personal good personal hygiene no it's not your fault so speak to your doctor please you have to see them so they know what to give you so you can prevent that particular inching. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. Don't just go to the chemist. I've seen a lot of ladies. They have inching. They have some discharge straight to the pharmacy, straight to the pharmacy to get antibiotics, especially in the underdeveloped country or the developing country where the regulation of drugs is not being controlled. They can easily buy their drugs themselves and take it. So they end up ant abusing antibiotics. And abuse of antibiotics is very, very bad. It can cause a lot of long-term damage if you don't know now you know so these are the various causes of vaginal inching with more emphasis on irritants with what more with more emphasis on irritant thank you very much for staying to you i'll be making a video on how to cure or prevent this um, vaginal inching in our next video thank you very much for staying tuned
thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers i am saying thank you if you are a nursing student and you have not subscribed for our classes on telegram all you have to do is to send a message on whatsapp you can reach me on call just send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you can have access to all our voice notes on telegram thank you very much if you need someone to talk to if you need to speak with us miss mary you just have to pay some consultation fee to speak with her by sending a message also to the whatsapp number showing on your screen Thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead. Bye. Thank you. I love you.